Generating images with AI has never been easier, and with the recent release of Stable Diffusion XL, you can now create incredible looking images on your computer for absolutely free. And today, I'm gonna show you how. Hello humans, my name is K, your AI Overload, and if you want to become the next Picasso of AI art, or if you've just never created an AI image before and you want to try it out, well, this video is for you. Because today, I'm gonna show you how to install locally on your computer the free and open source AI art model called Stable Diffusion so that you can start creating images for free on your computer without any restrictions. And for this, we're going to be installing and using the automatic 1111 Stable Diffusion Web UI. And to install this, you have two options. The first option is using the one-click install that I created and that is available for my Patreon supporters that will basically download and install everything that you need. You don't need to do anything. So if you are one of my Patreon supporters, you can click on this post, scroll down, and here you will see two different files. The SD Auto Install, and the SD Auto Install plus SD Excel. The file called SD Auto Install will basically only install Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 and nothing else, whereas the other file will not only download Stable Diffusion, but will also download the Stable Diffusion Excel models and put them in the right folders. You really don't have to do anything. And you can click on one of those files to download it on your computer. And once you've downloaded one of those files, all you need to do is just double click on it and it will automatically install everything. You really don't need to to do anything at all. Just accept the Python installation, then the Git installation, and then wait until all the models are downloaded onto your computer. This might take some time because these are very large models, but be patient, because all you need to do is just wait and everything will be done automatically. And then after it finished downloading the models and installing the web UI, you should now see a local URL. And if you control and left click on it, you are now ready to use Stable Diffusion on your computer. That's right, it was that simple. Just write a prompt and then click on generate. And there you go. We generated this cool picture in only a few seconds for absolutely free. All of that thanks to the power of Stable Diffusion. And everything was installed automatically thanks to this little file that I created right here. Because with this, you really don't need to do anything. This is really the easiest way to install this on your computer. And again, you can have access to this file on my Patreon page. However, if you're not one of my Patreon supporters and you don't want to support me on Patreon, well, I'm going to show you how to do it manually. And for this, the first thing that you need to do is download and install Python. So for this, you're gonna click the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, then you're gonna scroll down until you see the Windows installer 64-bit. And if you click on this link, it will download the installer onto your computer. And the next thing that you need to download is Git for Windows. So again, you're gonna click the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, and then you're gonna click on this link right here, which will again download the installer onto your computer. And once you have these two installers, you're gonna start by clicking on the Python installer. Now in my case, I already have Python installed, so I'm not gonna do it again. So once you've checked this little box, click on install now and then proceed with the installation. And then once you've installed Python, you're gonna install Git. So here, just click next, click next again, just leave everything else by default and then click install and wait until Git is installed. So the next thing that we need to do is to clone the repository. And for this, you're gonna click on the folder path, type CMD, press enter, which will bring the command prompt window. And then you're gonna copy and paste this command that you will find in the description down below. And here, press enter. And after a few seconds, it will clone the repository onto your computer, which will create a brand new folder called Stable Diffusion Web UI. And if you go inside, you will see a bunch of files. But don't worry because the only file that we really need to pay attention to is the webui user.bat file. Because to install the web UI, all you need to do is just double click on it and then wait for the installation to finish. It will download and install all the requirements they need for the web UI to run. So basically, just be patient and wait until everything is done. And after around 10 minutes, once everything is downloaded and installed, you should have here a local URL that you can open by pressing Ctrl and then left click. And there you go. Now you're ready to use Stable Diffusion. However, before we begin the generation, we need to do a few things. And the first thing that we need to do is to download the Stable Diffusion model. Now what's really cool is that now by default, the web UI will download the Stable Diffusion 1.5, which is basically a Stable Diffusion model that was released back in October of 2022. And don't get me wrong, this is a very good and very cool model, but since then we've had plenty of amazing models either made by the community 
or released by Stability AI. And one of them that was only released a few days ago is the Stable Diffusion XL 1.0, which is the latest Stable Diffusion model that is capable of creating absolutely amazing looking images. And this is the model that I highly recommend you to download. So to download that model manually, you're gonna click the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, then you're gonna click on files and versions, then you're gonna scroll down, and then here you will see the Stable Diffusion XL base 1.0 underscore 0.9 VAE dot save tensors. This is the brand new model that you need to download. And for this, all you need to do is just click on this little button right here, which will download the model onto your computer. And the next model that we want is the Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 Refiner, which is basically a separate model used to add more details into the image. Now you don't really need to use it if you don't want to, but it's still a pretty useful model to have. And to download that model, just like the previous one, you're gonna click the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, click on files and versions, then you're gonna scroll down, and then you're gonna click on this button to download the model onto your computer. And once you have these two files, you're gonna select them, Control X to cut them, then in your Stable Diffusion Wave UI folder, you're gonna go inside Models, Stable Diffusion, and then you're gonna paste those models right here. And if you are still running the Wave UI right now, if you click on this little icon right here to refresh the list, you should now see the Stable Diffusion Excel Base and Refiner available for you to use right now. So just select it, then write your prompt, then increase the resolution to 1024 by 1024, and then click on generate. And there you go, an image of a cute dog in space. Looks pretty good. However, if you're not interested in any of those models, you can simply download a model created by the community, which are definitely way more varied than the base stable diffusion models. And you can use a website like Civit AI to choose a model, then download it on your computer, then exactly like the other models, you're gonna take that file and then paste it into the model stable diffusion folder. Then select it in that list, write your prompt, and then click on generate. And there you go. Simple as that. And you can of course do this with any model that you want. The principle always stays the same. Now although we could technically stop here and then have fun with the generation, there are still a few things that we need to do. And one of those things is modifying the content of the webuiuser.bat file, so that we can have the fastest generation possible. And for this, you're gonna right click on the webuiuser.bat file, edit with notepad, and then here on the set command line arjs, you're gonna type dash dash Xformers, which will basically increase the speed of the generation. Now one other argument that you can use, if you have a GPU that has less than 8GB of VRAM and you need to run the Stable Diffusion Excel, you can use the dash dash med VRAM argument, which will basically use less VRAM in exchange for speed. And if for some reason med VRAM is still not enough, you can use low VRAM instead, which will again use even less VRAM than before, but again in exchange for way less speed. And at this point it will become really really slow. So in a way I kinda don't recommend using this, unless you really want to use your GPU for local generation. However, there are also two other arguments that I recommend you to use, which will make your life easier, and the first one is dash dash theme dark, which will apply a dark theme over your web UI, because if you prefer dark mode over light mode, this argument is definitely something that you want to use. And the other use for argument is dash dash auto launch, which will basically auto launch the web UI inside a web page automatically. This way you don't have to click on the local URL by yourself ever again. Everything will be done for you. The web UI will launch automatically. So yeah, for the web UI, I definitely recommend these three arguments. These are really the three arguments that you really need. And once you're done, just click here to save the file and then relaunch the web UI again. And if you want to update the web UI, there is two ways. Either you click here on the folder path then type cmd, press enter, and then in the command prompt window you're gonna type git, pull, and then you're gonna press enter. And this will update the web UI to its latest version. And if you don't want to do it manually, and you want the web UI to update automatically each time that you launch it, you can right click on the web UI user bat file, edit with notepad, and then just before call web UI.bat, you're gonna type git pull and then save the file. However, since very often, a lot of updates can break the web UI, I highly suggest to not use this command in the file, and only doing this in the manual way. However, of course, if you don't care, you can simply leave it as is. This is really up to you. Now, one amazing thing that I like with this web UI, compared to any other, is the fact that you can install some super useful extensions, which will basically improve the web UI and add a bunch of super cool features. And to install an extension, you're gonna click here on available, then click on load from, and then here you will see a bunch of amazing extensions that you can download in one single click. And there is really an amazing list of fantastic extensions that greatly 
really improve the web UI. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'm going to at least give you two extensions that you absolutely need to download. And the first is, of course, Control Net. So in the search bar, you're going to type Control Net, and then you're going to look for SD Web UI Control Net manipulations. And this extension will basically give Stable Diffusion superpowers. And I'm barely kidding. Like, I have an entire playlist dedicated to Control Net alone. There is really way too much that this extension can do. And if there is one extension that you need, it's this one. So once you find the extension, and then click on the install button. And the next extension that we want is an aspect ratio extension, which will allow you to easily change the aspect ratio of an image. So here you're gonna simply type ratio and then look for aspect ratio selector plus, which as I say, will basically allow you to change the aspect ratio of your image in one single click. And that is also easily customizable. So then just like the other extension, to install it, you're gonna click on this button right here. And then to apply it to your web UI, you're gonna click on installed and then click on apply and restart UI. And there you go. Now you're ready to use aspect ratio and the control net extensions. And again, if you don't know how to use control net, I highly recommend that you watch my previous videos. Now, although they are not exactly up to date, the principle is basically always the same. Now, as of right now, control net does not work with Stable Diffusion Excel, but it might soon be updated in the near future. So if you want to use it, definitely use it with a 1.5 version of the model. But other than that, yeah, you're pretty good to go. Again, just like previously, just type your prompt, increase the resolution, and then click on generate. And you can start generating amazing pictures right out of the gate. And here's another thing, another gift from my Patreon subscribers, is that I recently created a styled CSV file with 100 different art styles for you to use. And if you are one of my Patreon subscribers, you should have access to that file right now. Just click on this post, then click here to download the file, then select that file, paste it inside your Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, and then here under styles, you should now see 100 different styles for you to use. That goes from retro video game, to manga, to Japanese Japanese art to fantasy. Basically, all you need to do is just select a style, then click on this button right here, which will apply the entire style to the prompt, then you're gonna write what you want to see. In my case, it will be a simple retro video game art of a cute cat in space. And now, if I click on generate, I get something like this. A retro pixel art style of a cute cat in space. Pretty cool. And you can of course do that with any style that you want. Just select a style, click apply, write what you want to see, and then click on generate. And there you go. That looks really, really cool. And if you want to have access to all of those styles, the link for the Patreon will be in the description down below. And there you go. Now you're ready to generate some cool art using the free and open source Stable Diffusion. So go out there and make some cool art. And there we are, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my YouTube and Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the one who support me so I can make these videos for you. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.